Women who are Democrats in the House of Representatives getting the rock star treatment in a new Rolling Stone interview, including Nancy Pelosi, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and others who have this message for President Trump. If I were talking to President Trump, I would remind him that you are my president as well. The people of the United States are looking for a leader that unites. If I had to say something to Trump, I probably wouldn't say anything because I don't think that it's worth the extra attention. <laughs> Mr. President, do the country a favor. Don't run. Hmm. Here now, Kaylee McEnany, the National Press Secretary for President Trump's 2020 campaign, and Rochelle Ritchie, a Democratic strategist and former Congressional Press Secretary for the House Democrats. Great people to have with us tonight. Um, so, Kaylee, Nancy is just scolding the president. She says, you know, do us all a favor. Do not run. Is there any chance of that happening? No, there's zero chance of that happening. I can tell you the president is excited for this campaign. He's geared up. He's ready. And I'm sure Nancy Pelosi does not want him to run because how can you argue against results, a soaring economy, wages growing at the fastest pace in 10 years, remedying our trade imbalances across the world? You can't argue against success. So that's a pretty pathetic message from Nancy Pelosi. She should spend less time palling around with a socialist and a congresswoman with anti-Semitic remarks and spend more time focusing on working with the president. Rochelle, well, you know, is there anything that's inappropriate anymore these days? I mean, is that is that a professional <laughs> right. comment to say about the president of the United States? You know, just do everyone a favor and don't run. Well, look, I think that she was being very sarcastic. And as you said, I think this is just something that we're starting to see in our politics. I mean, yeah. the president is not innocent in some of the remarks that he's made about mm -hmm. those on the left either. But what I will say about Pelosi is that maybe she's thinking that the president shouldn't run, considering that he's imploded the deficit. Uh, it's risen by 40 percent. Uh, he used the, the, the paychecks of our federal workers as, as a hostage uh, because he didn't get his wall. So, yes, he's had some accomplishments, but at the same times he's had a lot of failures. I mean, he cooked millions of people off of off of health care alone. Pres prescription drugs were supposed to go down under this president. That hasn't happened. Instead, he's given tax cuts to pharmaceutical companies. So maybe that's the reason why she's saying he shouldn't run. And plus, let's look at what's happening with his base, which isn't really supporting him that much either. Well, Kaylee? that's just that is just incredibly untruthful, all that you just said. Oh, in fact, not? he's, oh, cleaned, okay. up, he's cleaned up the disaster that is Obamacare. In fact, it's under this president that By for the first time we didn't see. By kicking millions of people off of health Let me finish. Let me finish. I let you finish and, and share your litany of falsehoods. So for the first well, time, that's health care let, 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 let you finish. Say everything you wanted to say. Go ahead, Kaylee. Exactly. He's expanded choice in the health care market, no doubt about that. And you want to talk about his base, 93% support for this president, far higher than the support Obama had among Democrats or Obama's Clinton had running, among Democrats. Kaylee. So you can, you're can you entitled to your own opinion. You're not entitled to your own facts. All right. I, I want to play another piece of this. It, it, you know, of course, they, they don't do these kinds of, like, you know, rock and roll tribute kind of pieces uh, to your party, Kaylee, but they do them uh, a lot for, for, for Democrats. So let's play a little bit more of this kind of interesting watch my advice for young women and I think just all women is that we don't have to hem ourselves in we don't have to make ourselves seem acceptable you never wait for an invitation or ask permission to step into your power be fearless and unapologetic about being your best you what you bring is very unique don't let anybody try to minimize the importance of what your experience is Okay, let me start with you on this one, and then we'll go to Rochelle. What do you think about that message for women? Well, look, I think we can be us uh, to be bold, to be unabashed. I agree with that. Uh, but that being said, you know, there's such an effort here uh, to court the female vote. But again, you can't argue with the president. Historic low un unemployment for, for females across this country, empowering them. Ivanka, a champion for paid family leave. They want to empower females. Come over to the White House and work with Ivanka and make that a reality. So that's my message to Nancy Pelosi. Rochelle? You know, I think it's a great message, and I think that regardless of where you fall on the left or the right, it's a great message for all women. I think that, you know, Ivanka would support a message like that. Pelosi obviously supports a message like that. So I don't think this is an issue where we need to make it a partisan thing about Ivanka and come to the White House. That's just ridiculous. You know, it, well, you want a paid family leave. You have an option now. I, I haven't heard your party come into the table on it, um, on that or infrastructure or anything else you guys have asked for. 
Well, your president right now has imploded the deficit some forty billion dollars. So Nowhere maybe that's why there's nothing. So if you want to talk, Look, to Obama's that, you not, not running, Kaylee. Obama. You guys keep Every, talking about Obama. No, He's no not president running. president has a good record go. on the deficit over the last, you know, four to five presidential uh, presidencies. So I, I think that's a pretty tough, uh, tough argument for anybody to make on behalf of any president at this point. So, um, ladies, sure. we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much. Good to have both of you with us tonight. Thank you, Thanks, Martha. Martha. So coming up next.